Song Thrush from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The song thrush, Turdus philomelos, is a thrush that breeds across much of Eurasia. It has brown upperparts and black spotted cream or buff underparts and has three recognized subspecies. Its distinctive song, which has repeated musical phrases, has frequently been referred to in poetry. The song thrush breeds in forests, gardens, and parks and is partially migratory, with many birds wintering in southern Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. It has also been introduced into New Zealand and Australia. Although it is not threatened globally, there have been serious population declines in parts of Europe, possibly due to changes in farming practices. The song thrush builds a neat mud-lined cup nest in a bush or tree and lays four to five dark-spotted blue eggs. It is omnivorous and has the habit of using a favorite stone as an anvil on which to break open the shells of snails. Like other perching birds, passerines, it is affected by external and internal parasites and is vulnerable to predation by cats and birds of prey. Section 1. Taxonomy and Systematics Section 1.1 .1, Name The song thrush was described by German ornithologist Christian Ludwig Brehm in 1831 and still bears its original scientific name, Turdus philomelos. The generic name Turdus is the Latin for thrush and the specific epithet refers to a character in Greek mythology, Philomela, who had her tongue cut out but was changed into a singing bird. Her name is derived from the ancient Greek Philo, loving, and Melos, song, the dialect names Throssel and Mavis both mean thrush, being related to the German Throssel and the French Mauis, respectively. Throssel dates back to at least the 14th century and was used by Chauker in the Parliament of Fowls. Mavis is derived via Middle English Mavis and Old French Maui from Middle Breton, meaning thrush. Mavis can also mean purple in Greek. Section 1.2 Classification a recent molecular study indicates that the song thrush's closest relatives are the similarly plumaged missile thrush, Turtus viscivorus, and Chinese thrush, Turtus mupianensis. These three species are early offshoots from the lineage of Turtus thrushes before they diversified and spread across the globe, and hence are less closely related to other European thrush species such as the black bird, Turtus merula. The song thrush has three subspecies, with the nominate subspecies Turtus philomelos philomelos covering the majority of the species range. Turtus philomelos hebridensis, described by British ornithologist William Eagle Clark in 1913, is a mainly sedentary, non-migratory form found in the Outer Hebrides and Isle of Skye in Scotland. It is the darkest subspecies with a dark brown back, grayish rump, pale buff background color to the underparts and gray tinged flanks. Turdus philomelus clarke, described by German zoologist Ernst Hartert in 1909 and named for William Eagle Clark, breeds in the rest of Great Britain and Ireland and on mainland Europe in France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and possibly somewhat further east. It has brown upper parts which are warmer in tone than those of the nominate form, an olive-tinged rump and rich yellow background color to the underparts. It is a partial migrant with some birds wintering in southern France and Iberia. This form integrates with the nominate subspecies in Central Europe and with Turtus philomelas hebridensis in the Inner Hebrides in Western Scotland and in these areas birds show intermediate characteristics. Additional subspecies such as Turtus philomelus natalii of Siberia proposed by the Russian Sergei Butulerin in 1929 are not widely accepted. Section 2 Description The song thrush as represented by the nominate subspecies Turtus philomelus is 20 to 23.5 centimeters, 8 to 9.25 inches in length, and weighs 50 to 107 grams, 1.8 to 3.8 ounces. The sexes are similar, with plain brown backs and neatly black spotted cream or yellow buff underparts becoming paler on the belly. The underwing is warm yellow, 
The bill is yellowish, and the legs and feet are pink. The upper parts of this species become colder in tone from west to east across the breeding range from Sweden to Siberia. The juvenile resembles the adult, but has buff or orange streaks on the back and wing coverts. The most similar European thrush species is the red-winged Turdus iliacus, but that bird has a strong white supercilium, red flanks, and shows a red underwing in flight. The missile thrush, Turdus viscivorus, is much larger and has white tail corners, and the Chinese thrush, Turdus mupionensis, although much more similar in plumage, has black face markings and does not overlap in range. The song thrush has a short, sharp sip call, replaced on migration by a thin, high seep, similar to the red wing's call, but shorter. The alarm call is a chook chook, becoming shorter and more strident with increasing danger. The male song given from trees, rooftops, or other elevated perches is a loud, clear run of musical phrases repeated two to four times. Philip, 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 Codidio, Codidio, Quit, Qui, Quit, Titit, Titit, Terret, 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 and interspersed with grating notes and mimicry. It is given mainly from February to June by the Outer Hebridean race, but from November to July by the more widespread subspecies. For its weight, this species has one of the loudest bird calls. An individual male may have a repertoire of more than 100 phrases, many copied from its parents and neighboring birds. Mimicry may include the imitation of man-made items, like telephones, and the song thrush will also repeat the calls of captive birds, including exotics such as the white-faced whistling duck. Section 3. Distribution and Habitat The song thrush breeds in most of Europe, although not in the greater part of Iberia, lowland Italy, or southern Greece, and across the Ukraine and Russia almost to Lake Baikal. It reaches to 75 degrees north in Norway, but only to about 60 degrees north in Siberia. Birds from Scandinavia, Eastern Europe, and Russia winter around the Mediterranean, North Africa, and the Middle East, but only some of the birds in the milder west of the breeding range leave their breeding areas. In Great Britain, song thrushes are commonly found where there are trees and bushes. Such areas include parks, gardens, coniferous and deciduous woodland, and hedgerows. Birds of the nominate subspecies were introduced to New Zealand and Australia by acclimatization societies between 1860 and 1880, apparently for purely sentimental reasons. In New Zealand, where it was introduced on both the main islands, the song thrush quickly established itself and spread to surrounding islands such as the Kermadex, Chatham, and Auckland Islands. Although it is common and widespread in New Zealand, in Australia, only a small population survives around Melbourne. In New Zealand, there appears to be a limited detrimental effect on some invertebrates due to predation by introduced bird species, and the song thrush also damages commercial fruit crops in that country. As an introduced species, it has no legal protection in New Zealand and can be killed at any time. The song thrush typically nests in forests with good undergrowth and nearby more open areas, and in Western Europe also uses gardens and parks. It breeds up to the tree line, reaching 2,200 meters, 7,250 feet in Switzerland. The island subspecies, Turdus philomelas hebridensis, breeds in more open country, including heathland, and in the east of the song thrush's Eurasian range, the nominate subspecies is restricted to the edge of the dense conifer forests. In intensively farmed areas where agricultural practices appear to have made cropped land unsuitable, gardens are an important breeding habitat. In one English study, only 3.5% of territories were found in farmland, whereas gardens held 71.5% of the territories, despite the habitat making up only 2% of the total area. The remaining nests were in woodlands, 1% of total area. 
the winter habitat is similar to that used for breeding, except that high ground and other exposed localities are avoided. However, the island subspecies Turtus philomelus hebridensis will frequent the seashore in winter. Section 4. Behavior and Ecology The song thrush is not usually gregarious, although several birds may roost together in winter or be loosely associated in suitable feeding habitats, perhaps with other thrushes such as the blackbird, field fair, redwing, and dark-throated thrush. Unlike the more nomadic field fair and redwing, the song thrush tends to return regularly to the same wintering areas. This is a monogamous territorial species, and in areas where it is fully migratory, the male re-establishes its breeding territory and starts singing as soon as he returns. In the milder areas where some birds stay year-round, the resident male remains in his breeding territory, singing intermittently, but the female may establish a separate individual wintering range until pair formation begins in the early spring. During migration, the song thrush travels mainly at night with a strong and direct flight action. It flies in loose flocks which cross the sea on a broad front rather than concentrating at short crossings, as occurs in the migration of large soaring birds, and calls frequently to maintain contact. Migration may start as early as late August in the most easterly and northerly parts of the range, but the majority of birds, with shorter distances to cover, head south from September to mid-December. However, hard weather may force further movement. Return migration varies between mid-February around the Mediterranean to May in northern Sweden and central Siberia. Vagrants have been recorded in Greenland, various Atlantic islands, and West Africa. Section 4.1 Breeding and Survival the female incubates the eggs alone for 10 to 17 days, and after hatching, a similar time elapses until the young fledge. Two or three broods in a year survive, and the adult annual survival rate is 62.2%. The typical lifespan is three years, but the maximum recorded age is 10 years, eight months. The song thrush is occasionally a host of parasitic cuckoos, such as the common cuckoo, but this is very rare because the thrush recognizes the cuckoo's non-mimetic eggs. However, the song thrush does not demonstrate the same aggression towards the adult cuckoo that is shown by the blackbird. The introduced birds in New Zealand where the cuckoo does not occur have, over the past 130 years, retained the ability to recognize and reject non-mimetic eggs. Adult birds may be killed by cats, little owls, and sparrow hawks, and eggs and nestlings are taken by magpies, jays, and where present, gray squirrels. As with other passerod parasites showed that all the field fairs, red wings, and song thrushes sampled carried hymatozoans, particularly hymoproteus and trypanosoma. Ixodes ticks are also common and can carry pathogens including tick-borne encephalitis in forested areas. The song thrush is omnivorous, eating a wide range of invertebrates, especially earthworms and snails, as well as soft fruit and berries. Like its relative, the blackbird, the song thrush finds animal prey by sight, has a run-and-stop hunting technique on open ground, and will rummage through leaf litter seeking potential food items. Land snails are an especially important in the western Palearctic. There is evidence of population decline, but at a level below the threshold required for global conservation concern, i.e. a reduction in numbers of more than 30% in 10 years of least concern. In Great Britain and the Netherlands, there has been a more than 50% decline in population, and the song thrush is included in regional red lists. The decreases are greatest... The precise reasons for the decline are not known, but may be related to the loss of hedgerows, a move to sowing crops in autumn rather than spring, and possibly of food and of nest sites. In gardens, the use of poison bait to control slugs and snails may pose a threat. In urban areas, some thrushes are killed while using the hard surface of roads to smash snails. Section 6. Relationship with Humans 
The song thrush's characteristic song with melodic phrases repeated twice or more is described by the 19th century British poet Robert Browning in his poem Home Thoughts from Abroad. That's the wise thrush. He sings each song twice over, lest you should think he never could recapture the first fine careless rapture. The song also inspired the 19th century British writer Thomas Hardy, who spoke in Darkling Thrush of the bird's full-hearted song, even song, of joy illimited. But 20th century British poet Ted Hughes in Thrushes concentrated on its hunting prowess, nothing but bounce and stab and a ravening second. 19th century Welsh poet Edward Thomas wrote 15 Pusley. In the tables turned, romantic poet William Woodsworth references the song thrush, writing, Hark, how blithe the throstle sings, and he is no mean preacher. Come forth into the light of things, let nature be your teacher. The song thrush is the emblem of West Brom Football Club, chosen because the public house in which the team used to change kept a pet thrush in a cage. It also gave rise to Albion's early nickname, the throstles. Section 6.1 as food. Thrushes have been trapped for food from as far back as 12,000 years ago, and an early reference is found in the Odyssey. Then, as doves or thrushes beating their spread wings against some snare rigged up in thickets, Mediterranean, but is not believed to be a major factor in this species' decline in parts of its range. In Spain, the species is normally caught as it migrates through the country, often using bird lime, which, although banned by the European Union, is still tolerated and permitted in the Valencian community. In 2003 and 2004, the EU tried, but wild birds for aviculture has had a significant effect on wild populations. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon forward slash forward slash creativecommons.org forward slash licenses forward slash by dash sa forward slash 3.0